a lot of um a lot of things that's going on around here on the reservation. One day I was staying standing in the service station and I've seen some people calling out maybe about like 10, 15 cases of beer. And they were just talking, laughing, saying that, hey, you know, that down there on the rest, um, they have bootleggers, have so many bootleggers and about 200 and something drug dealers. And they were just making fun of it. And I felt really bad standing there and here they were selling it. You know, they were making money, but then, you know, I was thinking, yeah, this is how they see us down there, that all of us are, are alcoholics and all of us are into drugs. I lost two sisters. My oldest one, we lost her when she had just gotten accepted into a, a law school in New Mexico. She was coming home and she got hit head on by a drunk driver and she died instantly. And then about maybe 10 years later, I lost my third sister to a drunk driver that ran her over in the middle of town. So needless to say, I'm, I'm, I'm not big on alcohol. When I retire, I would like to be a judge. And the reason I would like to be a judge is as a social worker, I have seen a lot of children that have been placed back into homes that they shouldn't have been. long time ago the army was in charge of us here that's why we have Fort Apache but the army couldn't keep track of all the health problems that we were having that they brought with them during Desert Storm, I got my captain's barge. And then after Desert Storm is over, then I came home and I'm now a commander in the Navy, which is equivalent to a, a lieutenant colonel in the Army. When the Army tried to teach me about loyalty, I was like, no way. This is something... the army and any of those armed forces, we would have made it. <laughs> and Cheryl, you know, I think she's going to become a real strong elder here on the reservation. Cheryl does know a lot. Did you know there's a statue of Cheryl in Boise, Idaho? 
really didn't know that. This is a secret. See, she didn't even tell her secrets. Golly, how neat. Because then I see you call it. She is a going down. Man, those women were strong. They were hard-working women. I said, yeah, we're Apache women. As Apache women have to be strong. Being a woman on the Apache Aethiolot, uh, there's no distinction uh, between a woman and uh, a man when it comes down to you.